Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you have ever spent hours retouching portraits in Photoshop, you know how tedious and time consuming it can be. Today I am thrilled to take a deeper look at the brand new Retouch For Me panel for Photoshop, a powerful tool that promises to integrate multiple AI retouching plugins into one seamless workflow. And here is the bonus. They offer 20 free cloud retouches right out of the box, so you can test it yourself firsthand. In this video I will show you this panel in action on real portraits and you will see my retouching workflow, I will walk through installation and finally I will break down pricing and subscription levels. So let's see if this panel really delivers its promise for photographers and retouchers. Let's jump in. So here is the raw photo which I shot with my Sony a7 IV and the Suray 85mm f1.4. The first thing I do in my Adobe Photoshop camera is to set the profile on Adobe Neutral because I want to get the most flat picture. Then I want to decrease the exposure a little bit. I tend to overexpose my shots a little bit to get more details. And then I decrease the shadows in order to bring back some of the contrast in my shadows. Then I I turn on the black indicator in order to show me the black points and I decrease the blacks a little bit and for the temperature I want to make the temperature a little bit warm so we get that beautiful skin tones and I always increase the tint a little bit towards magenta to have a beautiful skin tone and by increasing the saturation you see we got a beautiful skin tone and here we can see the before and after of adjusting the temperature tint and saturation and here it was for the color and I just add a little bit of vignette not so much in order to bring the eye more towards the center and give it some feather and here for the blues at the background I want to make them more towards cyan so I decrease the hue towards cyan and increase the saturation a little bit in order to have a more prominent blue at the background and here it is for the raw processing not so much and now we go for the retouch for me panel which you see here is an awesome panel you have two options cloud retouching and on device retouching and today we want to focus more on cloud retouch features and as you see we have all the plugins here heal mattifier dodge and burn portrait volumes skin tone eye whistles and good thing is that you get 20 free AI retouches by just downloading this plugin and then if you are interested you can get the packs and the subscription levels which I'm going to show you later in the video and here for this portrait I'm going to use all the plugins and you can set the intensity if you like and for the on device plugins you need to buy and purchase each plugin separately have it installed on your system but for cloud retouching as I said you get 20 free retouches but you can get more if you like do not miss this 20 free AI retouches it is amazing we will see here and as you see I have selected all the options the one thing I'm not using is the clean backdrop. It is more for a studio background with a single color which has some spots and dark areas in it which you can use and as I said you can change the blend and the sensitivity of each plugin and then I press the retouch button and as you see it is just sending the photo to the server for the AI retouching. It takes a little bit of time, it's not too long, I think the maximum type I think depending on your situation, internet connection and the speed, it takes around maximum one minute to do a full retouch with all the plugins, which is really awesome. And it also has the batch retouching option, which I'm going to show you later in the video, which is really great for wedding photographers. Kudos edit so many photos from a single photo shoot. It comes really handy. And as you see, it is showing the enhancing and active status at the bottom. It is working on the photo on the surface server side, no pressure on the system, it's a really good feature that if you do not have a high-end computer, there is no problem and all the processing is done by AI on the server side and now it is just inserting the results and bringing all the effects here and re-downloading for the final result which we see here, it is really amazing, it made the portrait really pop, if I show you the overall before and after, it is much more eye-catching and you can all always go and change the options here you can set the mask for each layer and remove the areas you don't want you can change the opacity this is why this plugin is my favorite I can always
always customize what I don't like and what I want to intensify and as you see it works really well on the fabric it does a great job doing the dodge and burn it takes a lot of time if you want to do it by hand but it does it in a matter of time and as you see the eye vessels does a really natural job and here we have the eye brilliance it is really awesome it brings life to the portraits and you can always change the opacity if you think it's too high but it is uh, more of a fantasy photo and I decided to keep it high in this shot and I really like the eye brilliance effect here and here we have the white teeth effect it does a really natural job at whitening the teeth and here is the skin effects and one thing I really like about this cloud retouch feature is that it does the retouching order really correctly you do not have to do it by yourself it does it from the beginning at the roots with the fabric and then goes up to the skin there are just some spots which may remain but you can easily remove them with the spot healing brush or the remove tool which is a really easy job it is done under 30 seconds maybe and most of the job is just done by the retouch for me panel which is really nice and here you see the mattifier which makes the skin matte my favorite feature I'm a matte skin lover and here for the dodge and burn you see you can always go and remove some of the spots for example on the neck I want to bring back some of the details and make the neck more defined and as you see it is much better the plugin might just uh, make some points flat but it's not important you can always go and create a mask and select your brush with the black and remove those areas which is really nice and here for the skin tone I want to make the opacity to 50% in order to bring some of the red back to the cheeks and here you see the portrait volumes which makes a great change and making the portrait more 3d which is really nice and here you can see the overall before and after a huge time saver it might take you two hours to do this retouching process by yourself by hand but the AI does it under one minute which is really nice and for the next step I want to use the smart sharpen in order to make the eyes sharper and as you see we get a much more sharper eyes which is really important in the portrait photography process and I really like this smart sharpen effect it is really natural and we got those sharp eyes here with the smart sharp effect and for the final effect I want to use the dehancer plugin I will not go fully in depth but I will show you what I did here I use my dehancer film plugin I created this effect for this photo and I just move this photo towards the blue tone and make it more cold in order to bring the atmosphere to the color of the fabric and as you see we made a huge difference and now I want to show you the batch retouching feature I created a folder on my desktop for example and I added uh, three photos these are JPEG photos and here I just want to show you by using the batch retouching and selecting that folder you can instantly edit all those photos in that folder automatically the plugin will do them one by one I have sped up the video in order to save the time and as you see it is doing the job really good it is a really awesome feature for wedding photographers who want to edit so many photos in less amount of time and as you see you can just leave your system and go do your work and the plugin will do the job and then you can come back and do the final effect for each photo retouch for me offers two ways to pay a monthly subscription for regular users or one-time credit packs that never expire and you even get 20 free cloud retouches to try it out first here in the settings as you see there is options for making layers I truly recommend you to keep it on in order to have separate layers and you can also make the cloud results higher quality if you want and we have an option for faster upload if you turn it on you might get a 20 to 30 percent faster speed while uploading the photos you can select the subfolders and output format for the batch retouching and more options are available which is really nice with this plugin and here I want to show you how to install and download this plugin you go to the retouch 4.me website and create your account and after signing up you go to your panel 
and you have the option in order to download and install this retouch for me panel which is free for 20 ai retouches after the plugin is downloaded you see you can use the 7 zip in order to extract the files you can also use the adobe creative cloud in order to install it but here i want to show you the manual installation methods you just extract the folder and go to the c program files adobe photoshop and then the plugins folder just paste it here and the installation is done. All right, that was my full review of the Retouch For Me panel for Photoshop. I was really impressed by how seamless this panel brings multiple AI plugins into one interface. And do not forget that you can get 20% off any Retouch For Me product using my code and link. I will leave it in the description. Thank you so much for watching this retouching tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment sections. And I hope to see you soon. Soon. Goodbye.